Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Vinland Saga. This is season two, episode four, called Awakening. My name is Iman. If you're new here, welcome. Um, I wanted to start by saying I have this volume, I guess what we're going through right now with season two. Um, and I, so this is book five. I did go through the beginning of this because um, that was the last, the last couple of episodes. And I was like, gosh, maybe I, I don't know, maybe I'm going to read that. I, I want to, I don't know. I'm sort of asking you guys may, this. Do you think, <laughs> I mean, I could read it and then sort of, I don't think I could react to the manga. I don't know how that would work, to be honest. But I could read it and then also watch the anime and then kind of give my thoughts on both. Because I, I just like reading and I, I really feel like the manga is going to be like more in depth although I feel like the anime is great too but I don't know we'll see I might read it and then just if I do next week I'll be like hey I've already read it but I'm going to re-watch this episode and then we'll talk about my thoughts and stuff I guess on the episode um I I don't know I last week I did I was reading the comments and I'm not sure if I was mistaken with understanding, but I, I mean, I don't know how many reactors are reacting to Vinland Saga this this year. Um, I, I hope people are. I, I mean, if I know Film Buff, he was reacting to the first season like last year, maybe, which I was like, dang, that's a good. Yeah, he needs to watch this because he, yeah. <laughs> So I'm assuming he's like he's doing the second season too. I just haven't been looking and checking things, um, but I don't know. I hope people are watching this because it's it's important. Like I said, it's very important. I do want to also clarify that I'm not against Isayama. I love him, and I think that his story is really important and powerful. But I was I was kind of it's so funny because I was rewatching season season two and season three some episodes of attack on titan because i was like well let me rewatch some let me rewatch erwin's episodes because I, I think season four like sort of rubbed me the wrong way and when i kind of and then like like i said the comments and stuff were like yeah genocide yeah flock flock's doing what erwin wants and i'm like no he's not i and speaking of a true warrior Erwin Smith is a true warrior. So there you go. You've got Thor's, you've got Erwin Smith. It, that's a true warrior. But I went back and I was re-watching some episodes and it was, I was like, oh man, yeah, this, I forgot how good the series really was. The first, I, I feel like this, so the second season was like, whew, great. But the third season, I really liked the third season a lot. Um, it's like, the inner workings of the the mind games like how much Erwin worked to come up in like his ranks and even though he knew like my 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 father was killed by the government I don't know why because he's trying to get to the truth and so I forgot those that those details and then I forgot how much I freaking adore Ymir and her story and then Historia's story and so I was like damn that actually it's so good and I, I was thinking of re-watching and going through again and and I it just kind of reminded me of like oh right that's the heart of the story that's the heart and and Erwin was so right about everything and his father was right about everything but um and I guess spoilers if you don't watch Attack on Titan I mean you don't know there's no context to what he's right about but you know, it's like, it's just cool to see that. And it kind of gave me like this new hope for where the series is going to go. So I, I, I do have hope. I do have hope. Um, but it's just, for me, it does, it's worrisome that people are like, Aaron Yeager is, is a hero. And I'm just like, no, he's not. Even though I, I, I care for Aaron Yeager, he's not, but we'll see what happens. That's the thing. But okay, I'm ready to jump into this episode. Let's do it. Oh yeah, man. He's just beaten, slashed up. Even he's like, whoa. Oh. And he knows that voice too. <laughs> 
から<笑>いいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい <laughs> you guys brought him there. <laughs> He's got to be so curious about Dorfin. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. He had, he had a flashback. Ashkelad lives on. Yeah, he was testing. He's like, this guy knows something. <laughs> he kind of, I guess he does have like the similar vibe to Ashkelad a little bit. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that was awesome. That was a very, that's it. All he needed to show that. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm really interested in heavy. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. Oh! Wow. Wow. That's the question. That's so good. I like Hebi. He kind of came off as annoying a little bit, but I do. I can't help it. <laughs> I like. I know I'll like him, but yeah, like things have, when you you get into such depression, you know, it does feel like you don't want to live. And depending on what you've done and your guilt, your shame, or what's been done to you, but the body. I mean, you can't. Like, let's say you're just fell in a box and water just started pouring down on you instinctively we want to break out of that box you don't want to just die like you he showed him very simply you do want to live at least your body does and so and then it's like the first time Thorfinn is really thinking like live I want to live but now he realizes okay I want to live but for what reason what is the purpose now and that's going to be the journey that's the next step it's like Having your awareness, and then now, well, what is my purpose, and what is this, and that's gonna be the, the hard part. Oh, Torfin! <laughs> I can't believe he's gonna look like Ashclad. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, I would live here though. I wish I was living in a place like this. <笑>旦那様も少々手を焼いていてな。いや。薬代など気にせんでいい。お前たちの面倒は私に一任されている。駆けつけるのが遅れて妻の勝ったな。ノイズ<笑><笑><笑> Oh, I just love people like him. This good kindness is so important. Yeah, you're gonna have to teach him. Oh. <laughs> Man, when this guy opens his eyes, he's dangerous. I know that. <laughs> Characters like him. He's a kind guy, but he can probably really fight. Oh, probably work. I love it. They're really going to teach each other... Things that both of them know and don't know. That's really, that's a great team. <laughs> so 
強いやつが弱いやつを殺す当たり前のことだ I mean that's all he's known since he was like seven is all he's seen Dolphin, 人を殺したのか何人くらいだ I don't know he there is 十人くらいか No, the guy he has not counted. I always love this. This song and this tune is so good. Oh, he was even younger than I thought. <laughs> so he's in this constant dream as a child. This is what he's battling every night. お前は死にているか。けど、こんな地獄でのんきりくっちゃべってられんのも飯食ったり、そして寝たりしていられんのも誰かが俺らを生かしてくれたからだろうが。甘えんだ。俺の家族を殺したわけじゃねえだろうか思い上がんじゃねえよありがとうわあエイナルありがとうお前の寝言のおかげですっかり寝不足だぜごめんエイナルさっさと寝ちまえ<笑> Moved. <laughs> is that Canute? This is beautiful. Where is that? What? Who is that? What? Is that supposed to be Thorfinn? Who was that? This music is so beautiful. Yeah, who is this? Huh, I'm curious about that. Oh my goodness. Mm. That, 
<laughs> that was like that was that was such a great episode. <laughs> I get I say that every time, but I really truly like the the detail that goes into each of these episodes. Like that was something I really appreciated for the first season was the detail, the the sound, the sound effects, the music, the the art. You know, they're not it's not just cheaply made. Like they're using all of their resources to really make this such a beautiful, beautiful anime. Um, oh, that's that was a just a beautiful episode. I mean, I, I guess you know, I I really feel like this this anime should be um, what's the word? Not presented, but I guess if you've been if you have been in battle or war have suffered PTSD I feel like this is probably a really good anime for for people like that to watch and maybe really healing the first season and then this one and because I know what Thorfinn is, what he's going through is something that I'm you know it's a very real thing and it's like you know it's hard to to blame him for what he did because he was just a kid and he didn't know any better and he grew up doing that at first he saw the people he killed as like these kind of demon ghost things but after a while <clears throat> he realizes like no that like there were women children the elderly he just kept killing people but maybe to make his himself feel a little bit better or set you know it's not even him doing it it's his brain the brain is so complicated and it wants to protect us always but yeah i would be waking up terrified too having to re relive all of that and 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 having just it just must be so confusing for him like he really was just a child so he just didn't he had he had no idea like is this even wrong to kill you know if you grew up that way then you would think that's the way it is like he was saying earlier like you know don't mind the those guys it's just this is the way life is this is natural to want to kill those the, those who are strong it's natural for them to want to kill those who are weaker than them he thinks that's natural because that's what he saw and that, that's where um i think i think the world would probably have less problems if people just took the time each of us took time to understand that each one of us has some different upbringing background ptsd going on like Einar did not know that he that his roommate was this warrior and who killed so many people. It's not until he asked him he admitted to it. But this whole it's like that's the that's the world we live in. We don't know everybody, you know, and people keep secrets and they hold things in and and everyone has a different story, a different reason, but there is always a reason why even the people we dislike the most even those people who we feel are unredeemable. The truth is, is like, that's a really childlike mentality. It is, I, and I'm, I'm, I have a childlike mentality because there's people who I'm like, no, 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 they can't, I don't want them to get on the boat. Like if let's say we had a boat that was like the ark or something, we're gonna save people. And I'm like, I'm like at the, I have the, the list, you know, the guest list. And I'm looking like, yep, you're, you're you can come on, you can come on you no hell no get the hell out of here you do you remember what you did to me back in da 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 uh no and and that's <laughs> that's all of us like we all have this like list of people we're like yeah you you're cool but you're not and um coming from what i just watched community the episode uh, one of the episodes and they <laughs> it, it's very reminiscent of what the message is in community which is like Everybody sort everybody sort of sucks and everybody does things, but everyone is just who we are 
and like Pierce, for example, he just, he's so frustrating. But then when you find out why he is the way he is, he had an abusive father, he had this and that going on, you're like, oh, okay. And I think what we like to do is just pin the blame on people. We love a good scapegoat and we want a, we just want a villain. We want just a pure, just, this guy is pure evil. He is evil or she is evil, but that's just not, that's not real. That's not reality. Everyone has a reason for why. And it's, it takes the hard work right here for me and you to be, to be like Einar. I want to call him Einar, but Einar to be like, you know what? I'm going to help this guy out. I see where he's at and he's struggling. I might not really, I might hate his actions, what he's done, and, and it reminds me of what happened to my family, but you know what? He's suffering. And I guess yeah, if, the, if the world was more like that, it would be a better place for sure. And I know it's not like that, but again, we can be people like P P Pater um, or Patter, like, but it starts with us. Like you have to make that choice and then you have to start working on that discipline because it's, I, I don't think, honestly, I do think it comes naturally. I think by nature, we, we are more loving, but through nurture and our environmental um, issues and the things that happen through our lifetime, we end up becoming kind of cold hearted and judgmental and, and not very loving. But when you're around children, like young children, really young. I'm talking to before they've been indoctrinated and like hating people too. Um, they're loving. It's just love. It's love, and that that's within us. It's it's there. It's that light's there still. Even even in Thorfinn, even in Ashkelad, people like him. There's it's there, um, but you just need those people along the way to pull you up. And it's, it's like one of those things where you learn, like, like for me personally, going through a lot of the stuff that I've been going through in the last, I mean, and honestly, it's been going on for like, let's say 25 years, really, since childhood. I'm 32 right now. The last three years has been pretty hard because the floodgates have been opened up of like everything going on in my life. And looking, I'm able to look back at things and understand things. I'm growing, I'm learning. But the last year was a really tough time for me. And um, I had to do a lot of things to protect myself, which is not something I'm, I'm used to doing. I'm not used to taking time to protect myself. Uh, <clears throat> but what I realized is when you get sick, and I'm talking physically sick, I'm talking mentally sick, I'm talking whatever, you do something people don't like, you're gonna lose people. It's so strange that when you need people the most is when people are done. They don't want or have the patience to wanna take care of you or be there for you or support you because life, well, life is too good. We need to do this and that. There's no time for this, Star sorry. You, you're, you're broken now, I'm going to find somebody else who's not broken. And that's not how life's supposed to be, but it is, it is how life is. So I've experienced that within this year, a year and a half. It's like the thing, I, you know, you would think that's when, when people would be like, heart would open up more and that didn't happen. And it was quite lonely. And that's when I realized, you know, I got to do things on my own, save myself. But it took me a long time. And there was obviously people who were there, my, my family members, and people really, like, came through where I was like, oh, damn, like, I really, I didn't even think you would come through for me like that. But they did. And that was, that's another thing. Family is everything, truthfully, truly. Even if you don't have a good relationship. Like, I've had my stuff, my struggles with my family, but... They're, they're good, you know, good hearted. And, and um, that was a good experience for me to, to see that. But it's like when you are at the most sickly or you've done too much wrong, you blah, blah, blah. Yeah, people are gonna walk out on you and don't, don't, don't be surprised by it. 
but you just gotta you gotta keep moving keep moving forward keep going doesn't matter life is still here um and hopefully each one of you like and for me too it's like you'll have a, a heavy come along and just do one little thing like see you do want to live you see that your body wants to live or you'll have someone like Peter take care of you and mend your wounds and just give you a kind gesture and that's another thing that pushes you forward and then you'll have Einar or Einar coming along and saying well let me show you how to live like these are the things the simple stuff like we get to shit together we get to eat we get to sleep on hay like we got a chance we have another chance to just change things and I think that's what his mom said to him as long as you have life you can always start again even even though you're the people you love might be dead or sick or whatever happens it's it's like if you have life that's how, that's what we are as humans we're supposed to be resilient and work work towards that but anyways so yeah i i just want to share that too because that's something i noticed but then there's people like my, i don't even say like my editors who you know really awesome people who rick who's editing this and eric who edits the other videos and lisa who edits community you know things were going on but they were here they saw it was hard for me but they they stuck by and so i really appreciate you guys too um and yeah it's just we all need a helping hand sometimes really and a kind gesture that's all that's it <laughs> So I hope that for you guys will happen. If, if you're struggling in, in your depression or your darkness, there's always a way out. It's just, it takes hard work to want to get out of there. And you got to do it yourself a little bit too. You, you do, you just have to push yourself up and then figure out like, okay, well now what? <laughs> now what? What do we do now? And then you find out, well, what is the thing? What do you like? Figure that out. But this is an important series. I'm going to keep saying this after every episode. It needs to be like put into schools. People need to be watching this. It's important. Um, yeah, this is great. This one was really great. And I'm wondering who that guy is at the end. I, I, he looks like Dorfin, but also Knut. But I think Knut has like a goatee or something right now. So is that what Thorfinn can be? Or is that Thorfinn's future? Because... Also, there, there, the grasshopper in his dream, you know, he jumped, he smushed it. But this time, the grasshopper moved and he didn't step on the, the grasshopper. He also wasn't running scared through the woods. He was at peace. So I'm not sure if that is supposed to be Thorfinn. That would be interesting. I'm very excited to see his journey. And yeah, Hebe is really cool. I like him too. So, okay, that's it. Um, I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching with me. Bye, everybody.